And this weekend, why not try something a little different? How about a Peruvian style grilled meats? That's that's when you impress somebody with it with some <laughs> Texan flair. Executive chef Dustin Kerner from Indina is is here to show us exactly what I mean by Peruvian style Texas. Because you're from Texas, man. You're from I Austin. Am. And by the way, you're not just any other Texas Texan. Ow! See, that's a that's a firm handshake. Solid right handshake. Yeah, solid have. handshake. That's good. Mm -hmm. um, but you grew up on a cattle ranch. I did. I yeah, did. So you know a thing or two about a thing or two, when, especially when it comes to meat. I know a lot of things when it comes up to meat. All right, cool. So we, what do we have here? And, and why? And why? Okay, first of all, when you think of pork chops, mm -hmm. you think of applesauce. It's the first thing I think of. And maybe it's because of the uh, Humphrey Bogart, you know? Well, applesauce, applesauce and, applesauce. and pork chops, they, they just go hand in hand and half for years. Um, it's the sweet element when, you, when you're dealing with pork. Uh, here we have just a uh, grilled platano that we also brulee on top. You with told a me sugar. off camera it was just a simple banana. Well, platano is Spanish for yeah, banana. I know, I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, I'm, I'm going to try some of this, but go ahead and talk do. to him. Yeah. Um, so this is a grilled Snake River Farms Kuroboda pork chop, uh, very high quality meat. Um, anytime you are grilling, th the quality of the meat is really where it's at. That's going to be the, the most important thing um, when it comes to grilling good uh, food. Um, here we have grilled asparagus, asparagus peruanos, and uh, pulpo a la perilla. Uh, both of those are served with uh, am chimichurri. Uh, chimichurri is kind of the king when it comes to really grilling good. outside. Uh, chimichurri goes well with vegetables, seafood, beef, okay, pork. My question to you, I, mm -hmm. got two, I, got, I got two questions. When you're grilling um, a platano or a banana, mm -hmm. uh, how, how long do you know? I mean, you know like when you're supposed to take, I mean, obviously usually, yes. but like for somebody that's an amateur like myself or for some of the people at home, how do you know like the temperature wise? And then also on the pork chop because mm -hmm. you, you got to make sure that's done if you can get you where do. you get sick. You do. Um, with, with the bananas that we grow, we leave them whole um, with the skin on. So when you're grilling them, they will just turn a blackish color on the outside. Um, at that point, we take them off, cut them in half, uh, sprinkle, you know. sprinkle sugar on them and burn them. Uh, brulee them uh, to get that nice uh, roasted flavor and in can, there. Can you overcook um, asparagus uh, on a grill? Yeah, you could. Um, to be honest, I mean, when it comes to grilling any vegetable, you really want to blanch it first. Um, because if you just throw raw vegetables on the grill, it'll burn the outside before the inside gets cooked. So The one thing I never think about is grilling octopus. That's the best way to do it. You get these nice crispy tentacles. Uh, are you kidding me right now? Um, they, I've never very, even very nice. thought about that. Very it, nice. What's it taste like? Um, chicken? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just a classic chicken. Mm. Um, and again, with the octopus, the you amazing. don't want to throw uh, just raw octopus on the grill as either. We, we par cook that um, or poach it um, to what? doneness, and then we just add it to the grill to get the nice color and char. What does it take to, to, to make a good barbecue an excellent barbecue? Because there's some, I mean, you being an executive yes. chef, you go to your friend's barbecue, and they get the wieners on the grill, and they get the burgers on the grill. Yes. And do you, do you sometimes, like, you guys, hold on one second, I'm going to go back out to my car and grab some of your... <laughs> I volunteer magic. a lot. I'm like, I'll do the cooking, and they're like, yeah, great, that'll be good. That way I know it's going to be okay to eat. What's your barbecues like? Is it like this? Because I, mean, <laughs> I think we should become uh, new best friends. I, I think... That's um, amazing. Yeah, they are like this. Um, I think the most <laughs> important uh, role of barbecuing is to have fun. I mean, good company and cold beer is really the most important things. Um, I barbecue at home a lot of steaks, pork chops, um, asparagus, vegetables. Uh, and, and I noticed that you don't have much sauce. You don't have much sauce on the on the, the pork chop. You don't need to. Do you do like rub or anything like just spices? But you have you like do. a little There's bit of the sauces on the side. The pork chop that we have, um, it comes with uh, a keto pukra sauce, which is a stew of um, dried potatoes and ahi's, peanuts and chocolate. It's kind of like a Peruvian mole if you're familiar with mole. It's really good. Yeah, it is very it's, good. It's very tasty. Um, but no, the pork chop. Uh, the pork chop is such high quality that we don't marinate it. We let the pork speak for itself, and we just do salt and pepper. Um, and a quick grill. Dustin, I'm going to have you back on. We'll have to do a little bit more. Especially Please do. If you guys are barbecuing this weekend, this is great. Go to our Facebook page. You get some of the recipes. And also, you can catch, um, you catch you at Andina. Where is it at? It's uh, 1314 Gleason. Look at that. Right in the Pearl. Yes. Hey, man, dude, right thanks a lot for coming in. I really, really appreciate you having me. Yeah.